disappearing my greenhouse. Yeah. These are planter pots and they're built uh, very strong. They're built to withstand all the forces that would act upon them in a garden. And as you can see, we have each pot having their individual irrigation running to them. And in this pot, here is the irrigation. And as you can see, it's, it's dripping now. It's all on an automatic timing system we have here perlite which is kind of like a soft rock material that absorbs the water prevents the soil from becoming clogged and it is acting now as mulch so it it's reflecting sunlight whilst absorbing the water uh, and it keeps moisture close to the surface where the rooting of these vegetables would be we have Mr. Burrell Scarlet from Evergrow, which is uh, which has supplied me with the irrigation and the plant. Uh, so these are miniature tomatoes. They have already started to, to bear. They're looking lovely. Looks like I'll get a good crop from these. Um, and we have some lettuce around them as well. Um, the, the challenge with planting in the backyard is that you may have to contend with trees. Now everything that is growing requires sunlight. So you, you have to prune. So we started to prune some of the, the these trees. But so we have hydroponics. Again, I acquired this from Evergrow. Hydroponics is growing your plants without soil, so you're growing them in water. And for the hydroponic system to work, the water has to circulate and recirculate in the system. So this water, which is fortified with nutrients, is pumped from this bucket that's here through these PVC pipes into these growing chambers and right through the system and emptied back into the bucket where the pump picks it up again and the cycle starts over. Jamaica imports more than 900 million US dollars worth of food. That's all almost, uh, you know, close to a billion dollars on average US each year. Now, a large part of that goes to the tourism industry. There is the thinking, which is ideal, that we could easily replace or substitute uh, a significant portion of that food bill with local production. It may not be possible to replace or substitute all food imports, but we can do better than we are presently doing. Uh, we may not be able to, for example, become self-sufficient in meats, but we can do much better than we are doing. Now, self-sufficiency doesn't necessarily mean that you produce everything that you need to survive as a nation. What it, what it really means is that you are producing uh, enough of the basic food items that, that you need to survive, that you're producing at least one form of protein, that you're producing your carbohydrates, that if there were to be any shocks to your supply chain, whether uh, man-made shocks such as wars or economic shocks such as we are experiencing now with commodity prices rising, or uh, whether an environmental shock such as a hurricane, that you would be able to feed your population. Uh, the options of food may not be as wide, but you would still be able to feed your population. Um, Jamaica does have a certain level of self-sufficiency. As I said before, we can grow much of our carbohydrate needs. We can get that from our yams and uh, Irish potatoes and sweet potatoes and other tubers. My name is Luxley Waite and I'm a senior agronomist in Rado. In Jamaica, we consume 34 million pounds 
a table Irish potato every year. If we don't produce it, they will have to pressure the government to import it. And you know what foreign exchange is like and what our food bill. So here's an opportunity we are saying to both you, the household and the farmer. If you produce it, we don't need to import it. On the other hand, if we produce That's it... That's a very good slogan. Thank you. If you produce it, you don't need to import and it. 2015, 16, we produce 100%. So we can do it. So tell us about the crop. So, you know, I'm using my backyard. It's not a big space, as you can see. So maybe a space that's about five feet wide. And you're going to be planting them in these grow bags and pots. Yes, Prime Minister. Under normal circumstances in the field, we plant our potato, we make our rows 30 inches apart, and we plant 12 inches along the road. In Jamaica, we have some of the best agronomists, as you can see. Loxley is very knowledgeable about agriculture, and what we need to do is to take the knowledge from Loxley and pass it on to you so that you can use it in your backyard. We certainly have the capacity to fulfill all our demand locally, in addition to exporting. Um, we can do our vegetables and fruits. Um, certainly we can do the basics. We wouldn't be able to produce all the fruits that we would like, but we have enough that uh, were there to be a shock to our supply chain, we would be able to supply. Where I think we have the challenge would be in the proteins. Uh, my, my view on it is that if we were able to solve the issue of uh, the feed for poultry, um, if we weren't so reliant on corn, if we could find some other means of um, providing feed for poultry, we could become self-sufficient in, in chicken and, and other forms of poultry. I, I'm encouraged when I see great interest being displayed in uh, goat rearing. Of course, the, the biggest problem with rearing animals in Jamaica, it is the persons who will come in the middle of the night and reap what you have worked so hard to rear. So Pradia Lasni is uh, in fact a major challenge to agriculture. But with, with all of that, I, I still maintain that Jamaica has the potential to become self-sufficient in agriculture. And uh, I think the greater incorporation and investment in technology in agriculture, I think that is the solution. We need to move towards a more industrial type of agriculture that incorporates greater technology, uh, that uses less land, but uses it uh, more intensely with technology uh, and more environmentally friendly and in a more sustainable way. Uh, so, uh, you know, this Labor Day, as we work around our homes, I would encourage all Jamaicans to do some form of growing, some form of agriculture in your backyard. You would be surprised what you could grow and how much of your income you could save by growing things, whether it is on your rooftop or in your backyard or on your front porch, uh, you would be surprised. Uh, and it's a good feeling. It is a stress reliever. It is good exercise, clears your mind. And then there is the incredible reward from seeing what you have planted in the soil grow and bear fruit. So this Labor Day, put in some labor to grow Jamaica through agriculture.